Wow, you news people really screwed up, didn't they? You people really screwed up. Whose idea was to say that the NAS, the next NASCAR next gen car was gonna be pushed back to 2023 because of a failed crash test dummy rating? Who the heck would do that? If you guys watched the NASCAR video that just been brought up, and I mean brought up by NASCAR, they did do a test, but it was private. None of it sounds like to me that didn't say they didn't say a word about a crash test dummy failing. They never said anything about that. If they did, they would have put it out in the public. But this was private. They had their own NASCAR facility to test the next gen car in a crash test. Sounds like to me somebody got the wrong info. NASCAR was like, first of all, we didn't bring up the fact about a crash test dummy being a failure. I mean, the safety rating was a failure. We never said anything about the. I mean, listen to it. It sounds like to me that none, none of it. Some of the information made sense to them in NASCAR's stadium. But to me, some of those people that had the wrong info just dug themselves a six feet grave just now. And some of the YouTubers that I watch, which is Eric Step and David Land, just fell for it. But real Radman was right. Don't know about that. That's um. That's just the radio. Um. Betty at. Betty at. The problem is, Ru Radman was right. All these rumors are just killing NASCAR right now. And the rumors are really wrong about, you know, oh, crash test dummy failed. Uh, it's crash test. First of all, if you listen to the news properly, you people out there that are listening me, to me, make sure your info is right. Because right now, NASCAR just finished saying that if they, do, if they did do a crash test, in public, you people got the wrong info about that. First off, it was private. It was in their own laboratory. But the problem is, if they if they said that the crash test dummy failed, then the the main interest is they'll try to at least put a better, stronger structure. Usually, crash tests only happen maybe once or twice a year, depending on if they find anything flawed. And better yet, okay, it was it was not perfect, but still, you people gotta stop putting rumors out there and make sure the info is correct. Because better yet, NASCAR just flat out came out of nowhere, left field in this one. They they just plopped the ball out of home plate just now, and they just said, okay, first off, those rumors are wrong. The videos the videos true. I mean. Those rumors are totally wrong. I don't blame NASCAR because, you know, NASCAR is trying to make the deal right. Secondly, first off, okay, all three manufacturers just sent out their next-gen cars. They're testing them. Something told me that if there was a crash, in my particular reason, if there was a crash in one of the test sessions, NASCAR... Should have said, "Oh, we had an accident during one of the um, one of the one of the um, cars just wrecked in Charlotte." They they easily should say that. And I mean, as as a NASCAR fan, okay, one of the cars crashed, but what happened? Oh, well, maybe the chassis must have broken. Okay, so is there a chance to fix it? They would say yes. But all the people that are rumors that are rumoring about this that the crash test dummy actually failed had the wrong information. So you people that had the wrong information, I'm pissed. I just finished hearing NASCAR just now. If they did say that the crash test dummy failed, they would have put it out in the public. And the next gen car would have been pushed back to 2023. It's not gonna happen. It's still gonna be scheduled for 2022. And you and you people that are rumoring about the NASCAR 
next gen car being pushed back to 2023 you people are wrong about that i'm pissed real ramen should be on my bandwagon my bandwagon because he doesn't follow rumors he just goes by the news by nascar he doesn't go by rumors i don't go by rumors either if it's a rumor it's not gonna happen and Betty and Nascar just finished saying the next gen crest is gonna be happening in 2022. So David Land, Eric Eastep, we just fell for it just then just now. NASCAR just finished saying the the next gen crest is gonna happen. The crash test for for some reason didn't happen as scheduled because you know after all the COVID situation last year. Whoever said that the car crashed and the crash test dummy got got hurt. What the hell? I mean, there's there's no there's no reason for you people to bring up a rumor and say, oh, the next gen car is gonna be pushed back to 2023. It's not gonna happen. It's still gonna happen in 2022. That car is still gonna be raced in 2022. Either or, it's still gonna be raced either way. Wow, you people are. I'm upset. I'm upset. I just finished hearing NASCAR. They stated that the car is safe. So for some reason, they probably did a crash test just for safety reasons. Not for you people to say, oh, the car's going to get wrecked on purpose. Only NASCAR will test the theory that there's one of the structural damage on the car inside. They'll put it in the public saying, well, we might have a problem with the chassis. First off, Delara makes the most strongest chassis out there I'm pissed at the people that just said that the next car next gen car is going to be pushed by 2023 I'm upset very upset those rumors should have never been brought up to everybody's attention on YouTube I'm, I'm really pissed I'm pissed good thing a NASCAR addressed it because not everybody Knows that the NASCAR next gen car is not going to be pushed back to 2023. It's still going to be scheduled for 2022. So you people just got screwed. So this is NASCAR Full Taurus 46v2 signing out. Hope you guys get your information right. Because you just blew it out the water just now.